Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm happy to have you here. So for this video, I wanted to have just a little chat. Um, almost a little confession, if that's okay. And I wanted to talk about something that I struggle with a lot. And I am, I'm almost completely certain that you all probably struggle with it as well. I really struggle when it comes to my phone. I really, 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 really struggle with putting it down and spending time with the Lord. And again, this is probably something we are all guilty of and we can all relate to because, right, our phones are always with us and there's just so much you can do on your phone and phones are not inherently a bad thing the internet is not inherently a bad thing games are not inherently a bad thing you know whatever you do um technology is not in itself evil right it's people who use it for evil but it is such a huge distraction to me and it's something that I've been talking to the Lord a lot about recently, and it seems like it's taking more of my focus recently. I spend, according to my, um, what's it called, you know, the, the logistics that you can have it send you and it'll tell you how much time you spend on it. I spend four to five hours a day on my phone, and I hate that. And I don't understand how that happens. It doesn't feel like that much time. It doesn't seem like that much time. Most of my time is the internet and it is on completely useless things that aren't nourishing to me, aren't feeding me, aren't helping me in my life. And I, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like how easy it is for me to spend hours and hours staring at this screen, but it's so hard to just be still and sit in prayer for hours. I really don't like that. I want to be someone who can go and every day just spend hours with the Lord and it not feel like it, right? And now I will say when I have gone into deep prayer with the Lord, once you get into it and you're really worshiping him in spirit and in truth, it doesn't feel like time is being taken, right? It doesn't feel like, I don't know, it just feels natural and it feels good. But the problem is getting to that point, right? It's just so hard for me to put my phone down. And I wish I was stronger about it. I wish, but wishing doesn't do anything, right? You have to be proactive to make a change. You have to actively work to change it. And so that's what I've been doing. And I'm going to be honest, I am failing. <laughs> I am failing miserably at it. Um, what I try to do is like, for instance, when I am in bed at night and you know, we all know you're not supposed to have screens on when you're in bed, but we all do it. But when I'm in bed at night, I try to put my phone away by like 10 o'clock and just basically not touch it unless something happens that I absolutely have to. So I'm not allowed to use it for entertainment purposes. And <clears throat> I did manage to do it last night. Yay, yay for me. <laughs> but yeah, the several nights before that, I caved to that stupid phone. And it bothers me because I know I'm giving more time to it than to God. And I know God doesn't like that. I, he is a jealous God and we are to put nothing before him. And now again, it's not bad to play games on your phone or, you know, look on Instagram or whatever you want to do, but it's 
it's bad when it becomes an idol. My phone is an idol to me. It is my biggest temptation. It is the thing that takes me away from God the most. And I think I am addicted to it because, again, when I, when I don't have it and when I am trying to be still, not even necessarily to be still in the presence of God, but just to not have my phone and just be in silence, I start craving it. I start thinking about it. And I want to change that. And I wanted to tell you all because I want to be as sincere as I can be with you and let you know that I struggle with things. I am not free from sin or you know what I mean? Jesus forgave my sins, but I still struggle. I still fall into sins. And the great thing is, is that having Jesus means even though I still fall into sin sometimes, I fall into traps, I let things take me away from God. Because of Jesus, I am always forgiven for those sins. Every single time I confess them, he is faithful to forgive them. And when he forgives them, they are erased from existence. And because of his grace, I am always able to run back to God. And I don't have to grovel. And I don't have to earn it. I don't have to do anything but come back to him. Anytime, anywhere. And that's all because of Jesus. And if it weren't so, I wouldn't have a chance at him. I wouldn't have a chance at heaven. I wouldn't have a chance at salvation. So I wanted to tell you all and let you know what I'm struggling with. Maybe you all could pray for me to have strength in, in resisting this temptation of my phone. Maybe you all will join me as I'm sure we could probably all use less of our screens. And to also let you know that, again, Jesus, Jesus is, is perfect. He is perfect in how he lived his life. He is perfect for us. God knew exactly exactly what he was doing and there could not be a better system there could not be a better law in place of salvation than Jesus Christ so yes that was this video and I hope that it helped you in some way and I pray that you are all living with the pre yeah <laughs> I pray that you're all living with the peace of Christ in your heart and you're being a blessing bye